persons who are positive for COVID, um, we are asking those persons who are in home isolation to please stay at home. Um, uh, persons who are obviously in uh, isolation at the, at the Harrison Point facility or any other facility, those persons are required to stay in those facilities. Um, we understand that voting is, is the cornerstone of our democracy. However, we are still in a pandemic and those persons are highly infectious. And we wouldn't want those persons to go out to, to a polling station where we know that we have all cadres of Barbadians there. We have the old, we have the infirmed, we have the young and the strong, we have those with medical conditions and so on. So we want to be, we still want to be safe. And um, we are asking persons who know that if they are feeling ill, please stay at home. If you know you have a confirmed diagnosis for COVID and you're in isolation, that is what isolation is, you stay put. Thank you very much. So if you're positive, you don't vote this election? That is quite correct. If you're positive, you stay at home. Um, don't you look in surprise. If you are ill in the hospital, you stay in the hospital. Remember that the, the, the Harrison Point facility, as well as the other facility, which is San Bay Hotel, which is being used for isolation, those are extensions of the Queen, um, Queen Elizabeth Hospital. They are hospital facilities. And home isolation is part, is not, it is not, um, supervised by the government um, in, in the fact that we, we take over your home, but we do supervise those persons and we do offer um, surveillance for those persons and so on. And we are dealing with a highly infectious disease. Um, if persons, let me just say this, uh, if, if at the point in time we have protocols in place for if someone turns up and they are, they have signs and symptoms of COVID, we have protocols in place for that because obviously there are some persons who may start, who may feel ill or may not recognize that they're ill or may be asymptomatic at the polling stations. We do have protocols in place for that. But we are asking Barbadians, please, if you know you are ill, if you know you are, are infectious, please do not come out and share that infection with others.